What's going on, Faded Culture? I'm Adrian Barone. We got my man Felix here. Today, we're gonna to be giving him a three with the high ball fade. But before we get started, just wanted to give you a heads up. We are giving away a free beanie with every purchase on our apparel this week. Link is in the description down below. Feel free to check it out. With that said, let's jump right into this tutorial. Yeah. 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 That was a clean run. That, that was a clean, clean run. Said that was a clean that one. Was, run. That, that was believable right there. <laughs> All right, so like as I said earlier, we're gonna start with that number three using the Serker Amazon Clippers. Link is in the description down below if y'all wanna check them out. This is actually my first time trying these clippers and they weren't that bad. I actually, I was pretty impressed by them. Make sure you're going against the grain and in all types of direction just so you really clear the top of the head. So I usually start my high ball fades right above that temple peak area. I'll make my first guideline going all the way back and around the head. Just make sure you finish at that same temple peak area on the other side of the head. Now with the clipper no guard and lever all the way open, we're going to create our second guideline. constantly brushing the hair to see what I've already cut just so I can see if I have to go over it a few more times or not. As always make sure you're not digging in these guidelines you're more so flicking out as we come to the top. Now with our one guard lever still in the open position, we're going to create our third guideline. Now with our number two lever still fully open, we're gonna just kind of flick out towards the top and this is not gonna create a guideline as we did do a number three to begin with. So this number two and a half should just blend right into that top. Still cutting against the grain to make sure your lines are consistent. And this is pretty much it for the setup. It was a very easy process. All right, so we got our first guideline that we created with the sub zero, second guideline that we created with the half, and then lastly, the third guideline that we created with the number one guard lever open. And now we're gonna fade back down, starting with that top guideline. Our one and a half guard and closing the lever just one notch, which creates that three fourths position. We're gonna start fading down. As you can see, that pretty much got rid of that top guideline. Now with our half guard leaving the lever in the exact 3 fourths position, we're going to attack the second guideline coming down. Now this does create a soft line on top, 
but right now with our one guard and the lever still in that three-fourths position, we're going to attack whatever that half guard created. Now for that last line, we're gonna start with the clipper closed and then put the lever halfway and then fully open. And this is as usual, just my baseline. I always set these steps in first and then I come back and do any lever work or trigger play as they call it. That's it for the lever close. Now we're gonna put the lever halfway and continue taking that line up just a bit. Now lastly, fully open. with these last steps the majority of my work is using just the corners of the clipper as you can see right here now that I'm done with my baseline as you can see right here there's still a few dark spots left now this is where I come in with the trigger play and this is gonna vary from side to side of the head and from client to client there's really no one step fits all for this last trigger play process this is where just experience comes into play and with time building an eye for these spots. We're pretty much done with this side. Now I'm gonna continue the same process on the back. And the reason I like to break up this last step it's because it really is tedious. So it gives me time to just kind of work with section by section and just really focus. These clippers are not zero gap fully, so it's not removing that sub zero line. But at the end, we're gonna come back with the actual trimmer and remove that line. We're done with the setup, now the trigger play begins. And lastly, I touch up any other dark spots on the head with the half guard, usually starting with the lever open and just really get into details. And this is pretty much it for the fade.
using my trimmer in this direction now what this does it just helps me transition from the shaver into the fade Now to remove the rest of the hair and always leaving that faint line towards the top so we know exactly how high up to take that shaver. This is the faint line I was talking of. As you can see it's very very obvious. Now to begin shaving and as I approach that faint line I always use just the corners of the shaver as if it was a clipper just to make sure I don't take it up any higher. Brushing it all down and as for his edge up we're going to start it over here. As you <laughs> As you can see, he tripped out when I said that out loud, but no, seriously, brush it all down and start on the center and then just work your way to the sides. Always start your razor work shaving with the grain and then continue that with shaving against the grain. Adding a little part just to kind of spice up this ball fade. Adding enhancements to sharpen the lineup. Link is in the description down below to this wireless compressor. Finally, just putting a little bit of matte pomade. What do y'all think of this high ball fade? I hope y'all enjoyed the process and it was pretty simple for y'all to understand as usual. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us know down in the comments what you would like for us to do next. Until next time, peace.